white race. Good morning. Weather's always fine this time of year. It ain't that white is better. It's <laughs> not gray is better. It's that purity is better. I happen to be white, as coincidence would have it, and am thereby capable of higher thought. But that is not the matter at hand. What I am a fan of is distinction. Just as some birds fly and others swim, and some cats have spots and others don't, so it is with man. The races must be distinct in order for Hello, us sir. to flourish. And them that deny this is pure evil. We are not the same, and that is a fact. I have red blood and a heart, and that is distinctive of the Caucasian race. Hey. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? Okay. Read it. It's really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack, and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. Hello. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian, Known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir, are a real fool. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Someone! Come on! Help someone! Anyone! Please help! Sorry, girl. I got a man been tracking him. When I left him, it looked promising, but we all know a trail can go cold in a heartbeat. Particularly if the one you're tracking don't want to get tracked. Fortunately for us, signs point to Mr. Alfredo Montez not caring one part for who is on his trail.
What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is, I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. <laughs> <laughs>